righty. Uh, I don't even need to introduce the video because lo and behold, before your eyes, we have some forms that have arrived. Now, these massive forms, I want to bring attention to the white pickup truck just off to the right and those holes in the ground. So for those, well, they're not holes yet, but those cutouts in the bricks. Um, and if you look really closely, there's an orange dot in them in each one. So that's really interesting. But I wanted to compare the size to the white truck off to the right, just for a comparison for you guys. These are some serious caissons um, for what we assume uh, to be footings for the 2025 project. What else could these be for? Uh, absolutely no idea. It's not like they're going to run electrical wires through Canada's Wonderland. That wouldn't make any sense, especially since we've seen them laying down the groundwork um, for electrical under the ground. Um, so this is really, really interesting. So we are definitely going to be paying really close attention um, to these as we've already been seeing a potential layout with the cutouts in the bricks already. So there's 100% um, what looks like a spike formation as well. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be a really short update. It was raining and foggy um, when I flew, so I can't see anywhere else in the park because I can't fly to the height that I need to fly to see anything else of importance. Um, so it just made no sense. There's nothing going on at Extreme Sky Flyer. They weren't working on Moosehorn Falls, um, just working on building Moosehorn Falls parts, so I stayed to here. Um, but yeah, so... Honestly, uh, I, I, I want to rule out the Family Coaster Zamperla prediction um, that I had as one of my predictions. And I, I mean, that American source is starting to look more and more uh, reliable as we see things unfold. There's only a handful of coasters um, that use this kind of um, massive footing. Again, like uh, Top Thrill 2 was one of them. Um, so just to compare forces and that size of a footing this seems to appear in like you know with a grain of salt here uh to be a high force moment coming out of tunnel three uh and heading into those three footings uh right there so definitely really exciting there's the possibility it could be intimate i don't personally see it but maybe i don't know maybe what el toro ryan said with the uh, Cedar Fair checking out VelociCoaster was true. And we know that uh, Zamperla said that they only have three coasters for the 2025 season, two Kitty and one Family Thrill Launch. Well, these footings most certainly do not look like Family Thrill Launch footings. So to me, that makes it easy to rule out now. I would like to rule out the Family Thrill Coaster. So that makes my rumblings of a... Um, premier launch coaster a little more likely i wasn't fully in favor of that rumor because it just you know it seems so unplausible but now i'm like hmm is it so I i'm down to just those basic you know the vacoma the intamin um the premier and the um mock maybe and i'm telling you these footings don't even align with mock so it's really down to like a, a very forceful Vacoma Premier or Intamin coaster based off of these footings. I mean, BNM is still a slight chance. We cannot rule out BNM at Canada's Wonderland. They love working with BNM, but again, based off of some of the rumblings I've heard, uh, BNM for 2025 was scrapped. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, that's a really quick update for you guys today. Uh, stay tuned for another one tomorrow. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add that they were gutting the mound. Whatever something is in the mound is being gutted. And we saw those giant W beams being sent into the mound yesterday as well. So, uh, yeah, very interesting news. Um, so this machine kept bringing out junk and dumping it in the dumpster. Looks like electrical and all that jazz. So definitely something big is going on inside the mound, guys. All right, now I'm going to go. Have a cool one, guys. Bye.